And in this video, we're going to be replacing the battery in our Dell Latitude 5520 laptop. This process should be the same or similar for most recent models, including 5520, 5521, 5530, and 5531. Before I get started, I want to show you a quick screenshot of the HW Monitor program, or Hardware Monitor. This is a free utility you can download. I'll include a link to download it in the video description. And it gives us some metrics as far as the current wear level and the design capacity and fully charged capacity of our laptop battery. So in this you can see that the wear level is 18%. That's subtracting how much the fully charged and the design capacity are. So basically this battery is 18% worn out. That's not the end of the world. I've seen much worse numbers, but as I'm going to be issuing this laptop to someone soon, I wanted to go ahead and put a new battery in it so that it'll be fresh and ready for them to use for the next few years. Typically, I like to replace this once it gets to 30 to 40 percent. Anything higher than that, and you are at risk of the battery expanding and causing damage to the laptop. The battery for our laptop is a Dell 63 watt hour standard battery, which is a type RJ40G. Dell gives it a part number of M033W. Obviously, you want to confirm the correct battery for your particular laptop. Some laptops may have a larger or smaller extended life, long life batteries. If you ever have any questions about what your particular model battery is, the easiest way is just pop open the bottom of the case and read the number right off the bottom of the battery. Whenever replacing your battery, you want to make sure that you use an identical type to ensure that the wattage and the size are correct. You can typically buy these online from sites like Amazon.com or direct from Dell for under $100. The process to replace the battery is pretty straightforward. To begin, you start by flipping the laptop upside down so that it's resting on its lid. I'm going to be placing mine on top of my anti-static mat here. You can also use a mouse pad or something else soft in a pinch. Then you'll take a standard Phillips head screwdriver. And some laptops do also use Torx screws, so just make sure you have the right screwdriver for your particular laptop. And this one I've already checked is all Phillips screws all the way around. So we'll just loosen all of the screws so that we can remove the bottom of the case. With all of the screws loosened, you should be able to grab the laptop by one corner and remove the bottom of the case by pulling up on it. Now with the bottom of the case removed, we can see a few internal components of the system. Here's the old battery that we're going to be replacing. Up here are the two memory sticks. This particular laptop has 64 gigabytes of memory, so two 32 gigabyte sticks. If it had less, this would be a good opportunity to upgrade that, but 64 is pretty good for what we're doing here. Here is the M2 NVMe storage drive, which is the functional equivalent of a hard drive on older laptops. It would be, have been a lot bigger. Over here is the wireless card. The CPU and GPU are underneath these heat pipes. Here's the system fan. This is also a good time while you have it open just to blow out any sort of dust that might be around the fan. Just hold the fan still so keep it from spinning and give it a little blast of compressed air. Another tip I can recommend while you have the laptop open is to just go around and make sure that all of the screws for the hinges along the back are tight. That can keep your display from getting loose and wobbling. Once your screws are tight and you've blown out any dust, we're now ready to replace the battery in this laptop. For reference, you can look at the new battery to see where the screws are. This battery is held in with three screws located here, here, and here and then the one wire which connects to it here. You can see that on the currently installed battery, the screw, 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 and then the wire which connects to the motherboard. We'll start by pulling on this tab to remove the wire, and then we'll use our screwdriver to remove the three screws.
With the three screws removed and the wire disconnected, we can now remove the existing battery by lifting up on it and pulling it out. You can see that wire from the bottom, how it runs through and connects to the battery. So we just need to loosen this and transfer the wire over to the new battery. It's always important to save the cable since new batteries typically don't come with them and it can be hard to find the correct cable if you've accidentally lost or thrown yours away. Then we just need to transfer that cable over to the new battery. Installation is the reverse of removal. After the new battery has been installed, I recommend turning on the laptop and pressing F2 to enter the BIOS. From here we can see that the battery level is currently 30%, it's charging, and its health is excellent. Just one thing to be aware of is that sometimes these new batteries come at 50% or lower charge. In this case it came at uh, below 30% charged. I've seen them occasionally even come completely depleted. So you may need to charge the laptop for a few hours to get that new battery fully charged up. You can also see the health of the new battery reflected in the hardware monitor program I showed earlier. In this case, the wear level is now 0%, and the fully charged capacity and the design capacity, both of those numbers match. This laptop is now good to go and ready to be imaged and put in the hands of one of our users. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you, have a great day, and stay safe out there.